wall. Um, this review video is definitely about these gorgeous mannequins I purchased on Amazon. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at her. Below in the description box, I will definitely tell everyone exactly where I got them. The links will be posted. Look at the detail in their lips and their faces. They all come packaged like this with their faces protected. They come in large boxes surrounded with bubble wrap. Oh, yeah, so these ladies are gorgeous. This is what they look like with the wigs on. Their heads are a perfect size. Look at the heads on them. All right, let's get into the review. Okay, so I love how they come wrapped. Um, they do come with lashes on them. I'm gonna take this off. So I think the lashes are cute, but as we know, we want her to have dramatic lashes. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay. So after you put the lashes on, this is what it looks like. Move her hair back over. I love those lashes. And I just use some E6000, I think that's what it's called. So for sturdiness, I would give her um, a 10. Actually a certified 20 because you hear that? She's pretty sturdy. Sorry, I'm knocking on her boobs like that. <laughs> but yeah, she is pretty sturdy. She's soft to the touch. Um, her skin is flawless. Look at that skin on there, you know? And I love the fact that it comes, well, this one didn't come with the hole on the bottom. And neither did this one. I know I have one up here that does come with the hole, but if you can see a little indention in there, I think you could probably cut that out if you wanted to but yeah let me see which one comes with the hole at the bottom okay so i have this shirt on this one in this wig but this one came with the hole in the bottom as you can see Let's, okay there we go and i'm guessing that if you take off the felt on the other one, this is exactly what the bottom of it would look like. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would. I love the skin tones of all of these. So I feel like the earrings with the hooks would be better for her because going through um, trying to get those sticks in there was just ridiculous. I'm not gonna do that anymore ever. Okay, so that's totally better, see? I love her shirt. I love her earrings. She looks bomb. Yeah, I get the picture. Yeah, definitely get the picture. She definitely looks bomb. So we're gonna try a unit on her. Yeah, so you definitely get the picture. Yes, she is beautiful. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I definitely really, really, really think that these mannequin heads with the shoulders 
are the absolute best. I was thinking later I might go back on some of them and add some glitter to their makeup. Probably just along the eyes. Definitely gonna add some more lashes. And I wanted to, I was gonna put this on one of them, but I think that might be a little bit too much. Maybe, I don't know. But I definitely want to compare the skin tones. You know, I really think it's important for, you know, you to represent your units with the correct skin tones. You want your mannequins to represent the most natural skin tones that people actually have so that they can compare and they can actually see themselves wearing it. You know what I'm saying? Shorty just don't want to keep her shirt on. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe just need to take it in the back. Okay, so we're going to move this gorgeous lady right here so we can talk about the skin tones. All right. So me personally, um, I had to get the brown skin because I feel like it's... Um, she represents me and whenever I look at her I feel like this is what I would want my hair to look like whenever you know the unit that she wears like I just know exactly what I love whenever I can see my own skin tone in a mannequin and if we can if you can see the difference in their cheaper mannequins um, Okay, let's not use the word cheap. Less expensive. I mean, you walk into a hair store, you see this gorgeous beauty. Let's put her on a, a unit. Let's put her unit on. And there we go. And all these units is handcrafted by me. I will definitely put my website in the description box. Handcrafted units, baby. They're gorgeous. I love them. Okay, but anyways, your customer walks into your store, and which which unit or mannequin are you want, going to want them to look at? I definitely think this one. So these mannequins are perfect. The companies that they came from really did a wonderful job. So there you have it friends, I hope this review definitely helps you on your mannequin head purchasing journey. I know it definitely took me a lot of researching, probably maybe like two days of going back and forth finding the perfect mannequins. Like I said, I will definitely have the links to exactly where I bought these in the description box. And if anyone has any ideas of how I can do their makeup a little bit better, make it pop better, please let me know in the comments because I need all of that constructive criticism I can get. All right. You all take care from Chanel's Crown. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you love this video. Bye-bye.